1776 was a pivotal year for the American Revolution. Tons of stuff happened. In January, Thomas Paine published a pamphlet called Common Sense. The title pretty much speaks for itself. It was about how Americans should protest the British government. In February, the Patriots, that means the good American guys, won a battle at Moore's Creek. Then, the British, the bad guys we're trying to overthrow here, started invading the good old city of Boston. In March, the British evacuated Boston. In April, the Halifax Resolution was adopted by North Carolina. This allowed them to vote for independence. In May, France and Spain agreed to give weapons to the American rebels. Then, Rhode Island declared independence from England. In June, Richard Henry Lee proposed independence. He did this by saying, These United Colonies are and a right ought to be free and independent states. In July, a lot happened. For one, the first vote of independence on the Declaration of Independence. Then, the Continental Congress resolved. So basically they said, We're free! Next, the U.S. gained independence from Britain with the Declaration of Independence. After that, the Declaration of Independence was read to George Washington in New York. In August, the Declaration of Independence was signed by 56 delegates. About the time that was happening, 30,000 British troops arrived in the New York Harbor. This led to the Battle of Brooklyn. In September, the colonists officially renamed the United Colonies the United States. Then, George Washington wanted a spy to gain leverage on the British. When he asked for a volunteer, Nathan Hale stepped up. On September 12th, he left Harlem Heights Camp, 127th Street, for a new secret spy mission. Oh no! The British have captured New York! They're taking over New York! But wait! Oh, oh my gee. god! New York's on fire! <laughs> To add another tragedy, Nathan Hale was arrested by the British. He wasn't too bothered by it, which he showed by saying, I only regret that I have but one life to give for my country. In October, Benedict Arnold was defeated at the Battle of Lake Champlain on Valcour Island. In November, the British captured Fort Washington, New York, and Fort Lee, New Jersey. In December, Washington and his troops crossed the Delaware River from New Jersey. They surprised and defeated 1,400 Hessians at Trenton. Thomas Paine published his first American Crisis essay in which he wrote, These are the times that try men's souls.